There's been a lot of buzz around social media about our next guest. He's a beekeeper and a published author, and I should probably mention he's only 13 years old. I'm so happy to welcome Being Together's Keith Griffith to the show. Keith, thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So first of all, I got to know, how did you first get into beekeeping? I got into beekeeping because I love watching people do it and also wanted to help out bring the population up for beekeeping. How old were you when you first started doing this? Uh, like 11. So you've been doing it for a couple years? Two, yes. So what do you love most about it? Uh, I love going out there in the back with the bees, seeing how they're doing, and making sure they're fine and okay. So when you first said you wanted to start beekeeping, what did your family have to say about it? Were they nervous about it, keeping bees in the yard? No, not really. They were happy about it because they was ready to start a business, and I was too. And so the cool thing is, is you actually sell your honey from your bee. Mm -hmm. And where yeah, can people? Right here. Yeah, and where can people get that? Where can they go to get the honey? Uh, they can message me on Instagram by being together. Yeah. Or well, well now we're about to start a shop on our on my website www.beingtogether.com. Where we're gonna start selling my shirts, my books, and my honey on there. Awesome. And so your book is called Honeybees and Beekeeping, a mental health miracle. What inspired you to write this book? Uh see, oh uh, see, at that time my parents was incarcerated. So it took it took um it took my mind off of what was happening and all. It was take it was taking my mind off of what was happening. And it just made me happy. I started writing the book. So it's very th a therapeutic thing for you. Yes. It's, it's very helpful. And so what what is the book kind of about? Is it like from your perspective, is it is it like a a step by step thing on beekeeping or like can you explain a little bit about what the book is about? Uh is it is about to have the right materials, to be careful with the bees and make sure like not to be too scared out of them. It's a, and have the equipment, have, them, have your equipment, make sure you have your equipment when you start beekeeping. So what is the most challenging thing about beekeeping? Like what's the, what's kind of like the hardest thing about it? To make sure there's no bugs invading. So we don't have, so our hive won't get overrun. So that means we got to cut the grass by our beehive and stuff. So like yeah. bugs will start climbing up and get inside the hive and taking over. And recently, we just, me and my mom went outside. We cleaned out this thing called a mite remover, something like that. I forgot what it was. Uh, we took it out. We cleaned it all. It was like nothing on it, so it was okay. So we put it back in the hives. And I'm kind of curious, what do you do during the winter? Like, what is it different? Uh, yeah, we don't we don't really check on them because we don't want them to. We don't want too much cold. Well, cold, whatever. <laughs> So do they just kind of stay in the hive all winter then? Do they come out at all? Uh, yeah, no? no, because they they get like to about 92 degrees in there because they stay in one huddle and they start vibrating each other. So instead of hibernating, they're kind of hibernating. Sorry, that's a terrible, terrible joke. I couldn't help it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so how did you get your book published? I'm really curious about this. Did you do self-publishing, go through a publisher? Self-publishing. Publishing. And if people want to check out your book, where can they get it from? On Amazon. On Amazon.com. Or my website. Awesome. It and is I called Honeybees and Beekeeping a Mental Health Miracle. That's so awesome. So when you tell people, like friends of yours and stuff, that they know you published a book, are they kind of like, what? Like kind of blown away yeah. by it? Like well, I don't know going away, but they just surprised that I wrote a book. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one more question for you. If anyone wants to, like, if anyone else your age has, like, a dream, something they're passionate about, whether it be beekeeping or writing or playing music, what's your advice to, to people your age that have a big dream? To keep going and don't let nobody make you too sad. If something makes you sad, just ignore them. That's that's good advice. You just got to keep on moving and keep moving forward. Well, Keith, thank you so much for talking with me again. And, and what um, what's the, the website or Instagram again? One more time. 
Uh, website is www.beingtogether.com and my Instagram is being together. Awesome. Keith, thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.